We begin with high temperatures across southern Ontario, where Environment Canada has issued a heat warning that includes Hamilton, Halton and Niagara. The hot weather also hitting Europe as the UK records its highest temperature in history. As Matt Ingram reports, experts say the intense heat is yet another example of how climate change is impacting our planet. Hot, hot heat across a huge swath of our province. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible. It's very hot. We're from South America and it's still hot for us. Environment Canada has issued a heat alert for 28 regions across southern Ontario, warning of hot and humid conditions, feeling like 40 degrees Celsius in some areas, including Hamilton, Halton and Niagara, where crowds of tourists pack the falls despite the sweltering weather including this family from Montreal. A little bit hot, but the fact that we went uh, on the boat, it was okay. It's a really great day. When I'm walking, it's comfortable. It's a bit difficult. I just passed the bas backpack to my husband. If you're working outside today like me, it's probably gonna be a two to maybe three shirt kind of day for you. you know what it is for me, I've been walking around for about an hour talking to people here in the falls, and already I am sweated. Check that out, it's gross. In Hamilton, the Medical Officer of Health issued a heat warning triggering the opening up of cooling rooms and making open swims at pools free. I brought my mom and the kids and we're just cooling off here. It's partly weather, it's partly uh, climate as well. Altaf Aran is the director of the McMaster Centre for Climate Change and he says today's heat is an example of climate change intensifying hot weather events and that trend is forecast to continue. We will have more intense heat waves, we have more longer durations of the heat waves. Causing strain on the power grid and infrastructure, but also costing lives and exacerbating health problems. The most serious impact is on the human health side. The people who may not have air conditioning facilities these days. In Europe, a much fewer number of people have AC, and in Portugal, the high temperatures have resulted in more than a thousand deaths. Temperatures are hitting the 40s in parts of Europe like Germany, France and in the UK, where Britain recorded its highest temperature ever, 40.3 degrees in eastern England. The heat forcing London's fire brigade to declare a major incident as the heat is leading to a surge in fires. Uh, these sort of fires we're seeing uh, today uh, could become the norm rather than the exception. The heat wave has triggered wildfires from Portugal to the Balkans, and the UN is saying this should be a wake-up call for the world to do more to fight climate change. And that message is being echoed by experts here in Canada who says Canada, along with the rest of the world, we're just not doing enough to address this problem.